Everybody's having a cold winter. We're gonna warm you up for the month of January. We are gonna bust out some of our greatest videos from our first year that we did Tactical Rifleman. We only had like 3,000 subscribers back then, but we put, a, we put out a lot of great content. And now we hope you all enjoy it. We're gonna do two videos a week for the entire month of January. I hope you enjoy today's video. Keep coming right there. Hello guys, my name is Chad Bowman. We're here at T1G again and we're going to be talking about a pit maneuver, which is a precision interdiction technique. Um, a lot of people have seen them done on TV by the cops and stuff like that. Do understand this, that in the states it is considered a felony in all 50 states. So understand where this is applicable. But when we look at it, if this is a car that I'm going to need to be taken out or pitting out or whatever, there's a couple of things that need to happen. One is I need to match the speed, then I need to touch turn and then accelerate and it needs to kind of happen in that order so the first thing i need to do is to move up into position using two foot driving is your best method to do this uh, once we get into position i need to use what is in front of my wheel well to what is behind the wheel well on this i don't want to get too far up in here and get tire on tire then i start to cut my tires which could cause a problem for me down range okay Plus, all I'm looking at doing is I'm only looking at breaking the two contact patches of the rear vehicle that I'm actually trying to pit. So once I've matched speed, then I'm going to turn to lean on them. I don't want to be starting out here and ram into them, okay? I've matched speed, ease over, lean on them. From there, I need to do a quarter turn into the car to help break the contact patch. Once I do that quarter turn, that's when I'm going to start to accelerate. It will move around, and then I will continue to drive on through making sure that I'm not looking at the vehicle as it's tracking in front of mine. If that does happen, a lot of times you tend to just T-bone it and start pushing it. Make sure you're not stabbing the brakes. You're looking up and out for your drivable terrain or where you want to go, and then we're moving on. Now that we talked about it on the board, uh, we can head outside and do it for real. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to do is match speed. Once I get to the position where I match the speed, then I'll just ease over, touch them. Once I touch them, then I'm going to turn and accelerate. So right now I'm matching speed, making sure I'm still looking where I'm going. Once we get around this curve, I'll go ahead and touch them, turn, and then accelerate. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.